Hey y'all, I'm going to finally make those carrot hot dogs that everybody's been making. Um, I will link the original recipe in the description box below, but right now I've got my um, four carrots. I'm going to scrub these up and then just trim the ends off of them and get them boiling. Alright guys, I just trimmed the... Um, tips on these, just topped and tailed them. And this is the one that I peeled. I normally don't peel them, but this one looked a little funky. Um, the rest of them look just fine. Just gave them a quick rinse and a good scrub with my, my scrub brush and it should be fine. I'm um, just waiting for the water to come to a boil, then I'm going to stick them in there. It says to boil them for about 10 minutes. I'll probably check them about 5 to 7 minutes and then just keep an eye on them so they don't get mushy. Alright, I just stuck the carrots in, set the timer for can't see it. There we go. I set the timer for seven minutes and then I will just kind of keep an eye on them and um, just wait till they're basically fork tender so that way when you recook them tomorrow um, they don't just fall apart. You want to have a little texture just not crunchy. Alright guys and while your carrots are boiling get your marinade together. It calls for a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. It calls for a quarter cup of water. It calls for two tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos and you can also substitute soy sauce, um, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and then it also calls for a few dashes of liquid smoke which I'm out of but my husband is at the grocery store getting some for me so um, even if the carrots are done before he gets back I'll just go ahead and add that in. So right now I have the quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and quarter cup of water in my measuring cup. I'm gonna add the Bragg's and the garlic powder and then I'm just gonna put it in a plastic bag to marinate it I was thinking about a glass dish but I'm thinking it'll actually uh, the marinade will actually get all over the carrots sitting in this bag overnight better than it would the glass dish so that's kind of up to you that's something you can do if you have time you can um, use a glass dish and then halfway through the marinating process flip the carrots over to make sure they get evenly marinated I just think that this right now will do a better job um, so whatever you guys want to use Alright guys, they are done. I'm going to pull them out and just kind of show you real quick. I'm going to poke a fork. Poked a fork into it and it went in pretty easily. I don't want to tear these apart too much. I'm going to go ahead and take these out and I'm going to let them sit on my cutting board for a few minutes. I don't want them to be too hot and like melt my plastic bag. If you were using a glass container, obviously that wouldn't be a problem. So I would suggest maybe letting them cool off for just a few minutes. Um, and then yeah, you can stick them in your marinade. Now with this big old pot of leftover carrot water, some people don't like to throw this away. Some people will actually um, put this in a glass jar and put it in the fridge and then reuse it to boil something else or use it for soups or something like that because it's, it's just vegetable water so it's got a little bit of flavoring in it. But it doesn't just have flavoring, it also has the nutrients from the carrots. And if I was smart, I actually, what I should have done is taken a quarter cup of this liquid and used it for my quarter cup of water in my marinade. So next time that's something you guys can go ahead and try if that's something you want to do. So just a thought for you. I'm going to let these cool and then I'm going to set them to marinade. Alright guys, my husband just walked through the door. He got my liquid smoke for me. You can see my carrots are still cooling off. They're still steaming a little bit. So I'm going to add just a couple of dashes of this um, and then see how it tastes. I think it's going to actually be pretty good. We both tasted the marinade right now without the liquid smoke and said it kind of has that hot dog-ish flavor. It's really weird. <laughs> All right, so, okay, that's good. A few dashes. Liquid smoke is pretty strong. I'm going to stir that up. I'm not turning the camera on me because I got home from work not too long ago and just, yeah, not going to happen. Mmm. Let's go with the liquid smoke in it too. Alright guys, I'm going to pour this in my bag. My carrots are probably pretty good. Put the carrots in there and this is going to marinate overnight. I'll just show you what it looks like real quick and then it's going to go in the fridge um, until tomorrow evening when I actually cook them up. Alright guys, here it is in the bag. It's still a little warm so I'm going to actually leave it open for a few minutes and let it kind of cool off. And then I'm just going to press all the air out of it, and so hopefully it'll soak up as much marinade as possible. And then I will be back tomorrow to show you how to cook them and then give you guys a taste test. Thanks for watching. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, Justin should be home soon, so I'm going to start dinner. 
I found the Dea mac and cheese at Whole Foods today. You probably saw that on my Whole Foods haul from earlier. Um, so we're gonna have mac and cheese and carrot hot dogs for dinner. It's gonna be delicious. So I got the water started boiling and then I did a hang with session um, with Jill from Simple Daily Recipes. She does those a couple times a week and you can kinda, you know, she's on video and then you type in and talk to her. Anyhow, I told her I was gonna be making the carrot um, hot dogs and she asked how I was gonna cook them. I told her I was going to fry them in a pan and she told me no oil. <laughs> so I was like, all right, what can I do? So I'm going to try it on my George Foreman grill. That way they still have that nice grilled flavor um, without the oil. So that'll be good because I'm already having, you know, that anyhow. And then earlier, um, even though it was super hot today, I was gonna do some baking and I didn't get around to it because it was 105 degrees, but there's always time to make pickles because pickles take like five minutes and they don't make any heat. So I've got a couple jars of refrigerator pickles going again. That'll be my, those are my fourth jars. So yeah, had two before and I just made two more. So I'm going to stop babbling and rambling and I will get to prepping everything and uh, show you how it goes and tell you what it tastes like. All right guys, and in case you're wondering, this what's this is what comes in the box of the Dea mac and cheese. It's the noodles and then it's a pre-done cheese sauce. So it's gonna be like, I'm assuming it's gonna be more like the Velveeta shells and cheese cheese sauce. That's that thicker, creamier sauce. Um, I can feel that this one's not quite as thick as that, but it's gonna be that idea. So you don't have to add any milk or butter to it. It's kind of already done for you, which kind of makes it easy. Um, this one is more expensive, but since it's the first time I'm trying it, I just wanted to give it a go. Uh, this was $4.99 for this box. And the Earth Balance mac and cheese is $2.99 and the Annie's is also $2.99. So those two are going to be cheaper, but again, those you have to add the um, like soy milk and Earth Balance to, to get the sauce. And this is already all done for you. So kind of one of those things that balances out. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever gone online and seen Rabbit Food Grocery. Um, it's a store, it, it's an online grocery store, which is now an actual store in Austin. But I believe if you go on there, they sell this for $3.49 a box. I just don't know what shipping is, but I thought I'd throw that out there for you. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this before, but if you keep a wooden spoon over a pot of boiling liquid, it won't boil over. I do this every time and it seems to work. So I thought you guys might want to give it a try. All right guys, I just put them on the George Foreman. I want to get that lid down so it stays nice and hot and it gets grilled on both sides. They smell really good. Hey guys, so just in case the uh, carrot dogs did not taste so great to my husband, he bought a can of vegan chili from Trader Joe's so he can have some chili dogs. So we're just gonna let that warm up and I hear these popping and sizzling and they smell really good. So let's take a quick peek. Ooh, look at that. They're probably just about done. I think I'm gonna rotate them around just a little bit. All right guys, almost done. All right, guys, I got my buns ready. I'm just going to do a basic ketchup and hot dog because I forgot to grill myself some onions, which is what I normally put on hot dogs. I'm going to taste a little bit for you. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm using my iPad, so I'm sorry if this is a little awkward. Here it is. Ooh, that's the weirdest thing. It has a slight hot dog smell. That's so weird. Mm. They're good. It still tastes like a carrot, but it has that tangy hot dog flavor. So I think once it's got everything on it on the bun, it'll be a pretty good contender. So I'm going to put my plate together. My husband will put his plate together and we will tell you what we think. All right, guys, here it is. One with chili, one without, and some of the day of macaroni and cheese. I'm going to do a taste test for you and have Justin film it for me. Okay, my husband is acting like a tripod right now, literally. Here it is. Jimmy, Jimmy. Come a little closer. See my messy kitchen? No, not you closer. I come closer. <laughs> All right. Mmm. That's good. It still tastes like a carrot to me. Just a little more tangy. All right. But I would eat them again. I don't see why not. Sorry, I think it's like a good alternative to like a regular hot dog or even like the vegan hot dogs because it's going to have less crap in it. So it's a good alternative, but to me it still kind of tastes like a carrot. So 
I don't know, just a veggie carrot dot. I don't know. But it'll still be good. And uh, I'll show you my husband tasting it here in just a moment. While Justin is making his hot dog, just wanted to kind of tell you what I thought of the day of mac and cheese. If you're not a day of cheese fan, you probably won't like it. It's got that day of cheese like aftertaste and my husband doesn't like it. So I'll be taking the leftovers probably for lunch tomorrow. So Katie at Be Healthy, Be Happy, I don't think you should waste your money on it because if you're not a big fan of Daya, I don't think you're gonna like this. I particularly like it. Um, if it goes on sale, I might buy it again, but I'm not gonna buy it for full price because it's just too expensive. Um, I may try uh, ordering it through the rabbitfoodgrocerystore.com thing, um, but other than that, I'll probably just stick to Earth Balance and then I will let you know how the Annie's one tasted. So um, up next is Justin's taste test. These are my husband's hot dogs. Tell him what you put on it. Uh, sauerkraut and the vegan chili and what? ketchup and mayonnaise. Ketchup and oh, mustard? Uh, ketchup and mustard. Okay, he's going to try it for you. He's going to cut it up just because it's kind of soft and he's going to give it a bite. Mm. My stomach's growing. Mm. Tastes like a hot dog with a carrot in it. <laughs> so what, it tastes like a combination of the two? Tastes like a hot dog with a carrot in it, yeah. What do you mean hot dog with a carrot it in it? It tastes like, it's hot dog flavors, but it has the flavor of a carrot. Yeah, so it's like a combo of the mm -hmm. two. Would you eat it again? Mmm. Maybe. I know it's not a hot dog, but as a dinner, would you eat it again? Maybe. Maybe? Mm hmm Okay, so you're just going to walk away from me? Yep. Yep. Yeah? Yep. 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 <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to finish our dinner, watch a little TV. Y'all have a good night. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you've given this a try, and if you haven't, go ahead and give it a try, and I will put the link um, for the original recipe in the description box below and y'all have a good night. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.